Hi, this is Dr. Justin Marcajani here, and today's talk is going to be on the thyroid, adrenal, and blood sugar connection. There are over 30 million Americans out there with thyroid issues. And again, if we don't address the blood sugar and adrenal connection with that thyroid dysfunction, it's going to be quite difficult to actually get that thyroid back on track. So again, the thyroid gland sits right in the throat region. It's, it controls your metabolism. Think of it as like the thermostat for your body. And your adrenal glands, they sit right in the middle of the lower part of your back around T12 on the spine, and it helps control your fight or flight response or your sympathetic nervous system. Your body will typically produce cortisol and or adrenaline and catecholamines, uh, norepinephrine, etc., to help deal with that stress response. So let's just kind of review how the whole system works. Well, we have our brain. Our brain is essentially producing ACTH or adrenal corticotropic releasing hormone. I'll write that in here. That then talks to our adrenal glands right here to make cortisol, DHEA, and adrenaline. You can see here, the stress hormones are going to be the DHEA and cortisol. If we overproduce those, we're going to start breaking down our body faster than we're building up, and we'll be in a pro or accelerated aging state. Not good. And we have our thyroid down below here. We have our brain, which is basically our TSH, our thyroid stimulating hormone that talks to our thyroid gland. Our thyroid then makes T4, which is relatively inactive, about three or 400% um, less active than T3. Relatively inactive. And then we have T3 here. Yeah, this is our active guy. This is what really has the metabolic effect on the body that we're looking for. And just so you know here, all of our hormones are actually made from cholesterol. So you can think of cholesterol as like a hormone building block. So here's cholesterol. You can think of it as this awesome globule that's the building block for all of our hormones. And again, our hormones are going to come in one direction or the other. They're going to be stress-related. They're going to be stress-related or they're going to be regenerative. And our regenerative hormones are going to be our growth hormone. It's going to be our progesterone. It's going to be our testosterone. Things like that. Again, man's going to have more testosterone, women more progesterone, and estrogen, vice versa. Also, DHEA on this side. You can see DHEA up here. DHEA is also a regenerative hormone. Now, we actually need T3, active T3, to break down that cholesterol. T3 is important. It stimulates um, specific genes to help break down that cholesterol. Again, um, thyroid is a metabolic hormone, so it's helping to metabolize that um, cholesterol into building blocks for hormones. That's why one of the things we see when we see low thyroid function is high cholesterol. Also, if we have blood sugar issues, lots of studies on diabetics and metabolic syndrome patients, they have a hard time converting T4 to T3. So this is a big issue here, not making that conversion of inactive to active thyroid hormone. If we can't do that, it affects our body's ability to break down building blocks and to make hormones. And most people, frankly, they're more in this stressed out state and lower on the regenerative state. So it's really hard to get someone better when they have this hormonal uh, milieu, if you will, that's causing us to break down a lot faster than build up. So you can see here, we have all this whole entire stress syndrome happen. Let's connect the dots to blood sugar. So typically when a person has poor blood sugar, right, their blood sugar fluctuates from high to low to high to low. And you can see at the top, we're having these insulin surges, I for insulin. And at the bottom, we're having cortisol surges, C for cortisol. Cortisol is designed to bring that blood sugar back up. It's bringing it up, right? It's mobilizing glycogen from the liver. And it's mobilizing amino acids from the muscle and catabolizing it, breaking our muscle down into sugar so we can bring that sugar back up. And the insulin is then soaking up the sugar, bringing it into the cell and leveling it out. And most people are on these high and low insulin shifts. And if you're a female, high amounts of insulin will actually increase chances of PCOS and ovarian cysts, which then create more inflammation over here. We'll, we'll come back to this in a second. So you can see we have this high of low insulin to cortisol, which perpetuates more of this cortisol and adrenaline response, which then puts more stress, decreased regeneration, and it's also going to thwart this T4 to T3 conversion. So you can see there's a lot of things here in which our blood sugar down here connects up to our thyroid and connects up to our adrenals, not to mention the constant stress actually starts causing what's known as HPT access dysfunction. 
HPT and HPA. Now, again, the HPs all stand the same. That's your hypothalamus pituitary, and then the T for the thyroid, A for the adrenals. So you can think of our control center up top that controls our adrenals and controls our thyroid is broken. It's not getting that right response to the gland. So this step right here is broken. So the brain's not able to communicate properly to the gland what the output should be. So think of it as like a broken thermostat in your house. Thermostat set at 70 degrees, it's now 75. The proper response should be the AC kicks on and vice versa for the heat. And if that's not happening, well, we're not going to have a comfortable environment to live in, i.e. you're not going to have a comfortable thyroid or adrenals helping you to deal with buffer buffering stress and creating energy. So you can see here, we have to get to the root cause, which is the blood sugar, because the blood sugar causes the thyroid issue and it will cause the adrenal issue as well. Most people, they go to reach for, they have all these symptoms. When you start having excessive cortisol, adrenaline, one of the biggest things you start seeing is waking. You start seeing female hormone issues, PMS. Again, in men, you're going to see anxiety. You're going to see a hard time building muscles, hard time to repair, and just won't be able to recover after a good night's sleep. Most people will reach for, because they have in the weight gain, they're going to reach for a low-calorie diet. And low-calorie diets are going to slow the thyroid down even more. We're going to see decreased thyroid function. And again, we have more of the insulin cortisol surges here, which make the problem worse. We already checked that off. And then we have excessive inflammation because of all of the women. We're going to see the increased surges of testosterone. We may see more body hair, PCOS, infertility, um, and or acne as well. And then we're also going to have a surge of interleukin-6. Interleukin-6 is an inflammatory uh, cytokine that gets stimulated when our blood sugar goes up and down. Now, this is so important because 90% of thyroid issues are actually autoimmune in nature. What that means is their immune system is literally attacking their thyroid gland. So if we're putting more fire, or essentially more gasoline on the fire, we're going to increase that autoimmune thyroid gland's destruction. And again, most conventional physicians are just throwing Synthroid at it. And again, remember, here's the problem. Blood sugar issues are going to cause T4 to T3 conversions, and Synthroid is just T4. So if we're not converting it well, you can see how that Synthroid here, the Synthroid has not fixed the problem because it's not getting converted to T3. That's the issue there. So we want to get the inflammation addressed, and part of doing that is getting the adrenals fixed as well as the blood sugar. Now, most people who have thyroid issues, they aren't looking at the adrenals and or the blood sugar connection. So if you want more information on this, feel free and click below to my thyroid newsletter and or my female hormone newsletter. Again, I have a lot more videos on this topic. Feel free and schedule an appointment with me as well. There's a link down there below where you can get more information on how you can fix your thyroid and your adrenals and your blood sugar, frankly. Again, feel free and subscribe for more videos like this. Again, this is Dr. Justin signing off.